Question 1. In California, what is the legal blood alcohol concentration? Base C. Limit for commercial drivers. A. 0. 8%. B. 0. 4%. C. 0. 2%. Answer. B. 0. 4%. Commercial drivers in California are held to stricter bay peg limits than non-commercial drivers. Question 2. If you are driving in heavy rain, you should A. Increase your speed to get out of the rain faster. B. Turn on your high beams. C. Reduce your speed and increase following distance. Answer. C. Reduce your speed and increase following distance. Wet roads can be slippery and reduce visibility. Question 3. True or false. In California, you are required to inspect your vehicle before every trip. Answer. True. A pre-trip inspection is mandatory to ensure safety. Question 4. When approaching a railroad crossing, you should A. Speed up to cross quickly. B. Always stop, regardless of the situation. C. Listen and look in both directions for trains. Answer. C. Listen and look in both directions for trains. Always be cautious and prepared to stop if a train is approaching. Question 5. If your vehicle starts to hydroplane, you should A. Slam on the brakes. B. Steer in the direction you want to go. C. Accelerate to regain traction. Answer. B. Steer in the direction you want to go. Avoid sudden actions and do not brake or turn suddenly. Question 6. True or false, you can drive off the road to pass another vehicle if necessary. Answer, false. It's illegal and unsafe to drive off the main traveled portion of the road to pass. Question 7. When driving downhill in a large truck, you should A. Shift to a higher gear. B. Shift to a lower gear. C. Use only the brake to control speed. Answer, B. Shift to a lower gear. This uses engine braking to help control speed. Question 8. If you are feeling tired while driving, you should A. Drink coffee and continue driving. B. Turn up the radio. C. Pull over and rest. Answer. C. Pull over and rest. Fatigue can impair reaction time and judgment. Question 9. True or false? You are allowed to use a handheld mobile phone while driving a commercial vehicle in California. Answer. False. Using a handheld mobile phone while driving a commercial vehicle is prohibited. Question 10. The best way to stop a skid is to A. Turn in the opposite direction of the skid. B. Slam on the brakes. C. Steer in the direction you want the vehicle to go. Answer. C. Steer in the direction you want the vehicle to go. This helps regain control. Question 11. In California, if you refuse a Bay C test, your commercial driving privileges will be suspended for A. 6 months B. 1 year C. 2 years Answer. B. 1 year. Refusing a BAC test results in serious consequences. Question 12. If you are convicted of a DUI while operating a commercial vehicle, you will lose your CDL for A. 6 months B. 1 year C. 3 years Answer. B. 1 year A DUI conviction carries severe penalties for commercial drivers. Question 13. True or false? You should always drive in the leftmost lane if you are driving slower than other traffic. Answer. False. Slower traffic should stay to the right. Question 14. If you see a no zone sign on a truck, it means A. The truck is not allowed in this area. B. The truck has limited visibility and blind spots. C. The truck is carrying hazardous materials. Answer. B. The truck has limited visibility and blind spots. No zone refers to the areas around a truck where cars disappear into blind spots. Question 15. When backing up a truck, it's important to A. Back up quickly. B. Use your mirrors and check your blind spots. C. Rely solely on a backup camera. 
Answer. B. Use your mirrors and check your blind spots. Always be cautious and aware of your surroundings. Question 16. True or false? In California, you can lose your CDL for committing offenses while driving a non-commercial vehicle. Answer. True. Certain offenses, like DUIs, can result in the loss of a CDL even if committed in a personal vehicle. Question 17. If you are involved in an accident, you should A. Leave the scene immediately B. Report the accident to the police and your employer C. Only report the accident if there are injuries Answer B. Report the accident to the police and your employer. It's important to follow proper procedures after an accident. Question 18. When driving in fog, you should A. Use high beam headlights B. Use low beam headlights C. Drive without headlights Answer. B. Use low beam headlights. High beams can reflect off the fog and reduce visibility. Question 19. True or false? It's safe to drive a commercial vehicle with any amount of alcohol in your system. Answer. False. Even small amounts of alcohol can impair driving and result in penalties. Question 20. If you are being tailgated, you should A. Brake suddenly to warn the driver B. Speed up to create distance C. Gradually reduce speed and encourage the driver to pass Answer C. Gradually reduce speed and encourage the driver to pass. It's safer to allow tailgaters to pass than to engage in aggressive driving behaviors. Question 21. When driving in strong winds, it's important to A. Steer in the direction of the wind. B. Keep a firm grip on the steering wheel and reduce speed. C. Increase speed to counteract the wind. Answer. B. Keep a firm grip on the steering wheel and reduce speed. High-profile vehicles are especially susceptible to strong winds. Question 22. True or false? In California, you are required to wear a seatbelt at all times when operating a commercial vehicle. Answer. True. Seat belts are mandatory for safety. Question 23. If you see a hazard in the roadway ahead, you should A. Swerve suddenly to avoid it. B. Brake hard immediately. C. Signal and change lanes or reduce speed to avoid it. Answer. C. Signal and change lanes or reduce speed to avoid it. Always react to hazards in a controlled and safe manner. Question 24. When driving on a downgrade, you should A. Coast in neutral B. Use the engine brake or transmission to control speed C. Rely solely on the foot brake Answer B. Use the engine brake or transmission to control speed. This helps prevent brake fade and overheating. Question 25. True or false? You can transport any amount of alcohol in the cab of a commercial vehicle as long as you are drinking it. Answer. False. Possession of alcohol in the cab, unless it's part of a shipment, is prohibited. Question 26. If your vehicle starts to skid, you should. A. Accelerate out of the skid. B. Turn the steering wheel in the opposite direction of the skid. C. Turn the steering wheel in the direction you want to go. Answer. C. Turn the steering wheel in the direction you want to go. This helps regain control of the vehicle. Question 27. When approaching a curve, you should A. Speed up to get through it faster. B. Brake while in the curve. C. Slow down before entering the curve. Answer. C. Slow down before entering the curve. This helps maintain control of the vehicle. Question 28. True or false? You should always use your mirrors when changing lanes. Answer. True. Mirrors help you see vehicles in your blind spots. Question 29. If you are feeling drowsy while driving, you should A. Drink coffee to wake up. B. Continue driving and try to reach your destination. C. Pull over and rest or take a nap. Answer. C. Pull over and rest or take a nap. Fatigue can severely impair driving abilities. Question 30. When driving in heavy traffic, you should 
A. Weave between lanes to get ahead. B. Tailgate to keep others from cutting in front of you. C. Increase your following distance. Answer. C. Increase your following distance. This gives you more time to react to sudden stops or changes in traffic flow. Question 31. True or false? It's safe to use cruise control in heavy rain or on slippery roads. Answer. False. Cruise control can increase the risk of hydroplaning or losing control on slick surfaces. Question 32. When parking your commercial vehicle, you should A. Park on a hill, if possible for better visibility. B. Always set the parking brake. C. Leave the vehicle in neutral. Answer. B. Always set the parking brake. This ensures the vehicle remains stationary. Question 33. If you are being passed by another vehicle, you should A. Speed up to match their speed. B. Move to the left to give them more space. C. Stay in your lane and maintain your speed. Answer. C. Stay in your lane and maintain your speed. This allows the other vehicle to pass safely. Question 34. True or false? You should check your mirrors frequently to monitor traffic and check for any cargo shifts. Answer. True. Regular mirror checks are essential for safe driving. Question 35. When driving in strong winds, you should A. Drive faster to get out of the wind. B. Keep a firm grip on the steering wheel and be prepared for gusts. C. Drive close to other vehicles for protection from the wind. Answer. B. Keep a firm grip on the steering wheel and be prepared for gusts. High-profile vehicles can be especially affected by wind. Question 36. If you need to stop on the side of the road, you should. A. Stop in the nearest lane. B. Pull off the road as far as possible and activate your emergency flashers. C. Only stop on the left side of the road. Answer. B. Pull off the road as far as possible and activate your emergency flashers. This ensures you're visible to other drivers and out of the flow of traffic. Question 37. True or false? If a tire blows out, you should brake hard and steer to the side of the road. Answer. False. If a tire blows out, you should grip the steering wheel firmly, let off the gas, and brake gently once the vehicle has slowed. Question 38. When driving in fog, you should A. Use your high beams for better visibility. B. Use your low beams. C. Drive with your hazard lights on. Answer. B. Use your low beams. High beams can reflect off the fog and reduce visibility. Question 39. If you are involved in a road rage incident, you should A. Engage with the other driver and defend yourself. B. Ignore the other driver and avoid making eye contact. C. Brake check the other driver to teach them a lesson. Answer. B. Ignore the other driver and avoid making eye contact. It's best to avoid escalating the situation. Question 40. True or false? In California, you are allowed to use engine brakes or compression release brakes in all areas. Answer. False. Some areas in California have restrictions on the use of engine brakes due to noise concerns. Question 41. When approaching a roundabout, you should A. Yield to traffic already in the roundabout. B. Enter without yielding since you have the right of way. C. Always turn on your left turn signal. Answer. A. Yield to traffic already in the roundabout. Vehicles already in the roundabout have the right of way. Question 42. If your vehicle is equipped with anti-lock braking system, ABS, and you need to make an emergency stop, you should A. Pump the brakes. B. Apply steady pressure to the brake pedal. C. Brake and then release quickly. Answer. B. Apply steady pressure to the brake pedal. ABS is designed to prevent wheel lockup, allowing you to steer while braking. Question 43. True or false? It's safe to drive through standing water if it doesn't look too deep. Answer. False. Standing water can be deeper than it appears and can cause hydroplaning or stall the engine. Question 44. 
when driving in mountainous areas, you should a. Always use the highest gear possible. B. Rely solely on your brakes to control speed on downgrades. C. Use a lower gear to control speed on downgrades. Answer. C. Use a lower gear to control speed on downgrades. This helps prevent brake overheating. Question 45. If you see a pedestrian in a crosswalk, you should A. Honk to let them know you're coming. B. Speed up to get past them quickly. C. Yield the right of way to the pedestrian. Answer. C. Yield the right of way to the pedestrian. Pedestrians have the right of way in crosswalks. Question 46. True or false? You should always drive in the right must lane if you are driving slower than other traffic. Answer. True. Slower traffic should stay to the right. Question 47. When driving in work zones, you should A. Increase your speed to get out of the zone faster. B. Use your high beams for better visibility. C. Reduce your speed and be prepared for sudden stops. Answer. C. Reduce your speed and be prepared for sudden stops. Work zones can have unexpected obstacles and workers near the roadway. Question 48. If you are stopped by law enforcement, you should A. Exit your vehicle immediately and approach the officer. B. Stay in your vehicle unless instructed otherwise. C. Refuse to provide documentation unless you're told why you were stopped. Answer. B. Stay in your vehicle unless instructed otherwise. It's safer for both you and the officer. Question 49. True or false? In California, you can be fined for littering from your vehicle. Answer. True. Littering is illegal and can result in fines. Question 50. When driving in adverse weather conditions, you should A. Maintain your normal speed and following distance. B. Reduce speed and increase following distance. C. Only focus on the vehicle in front of you. Answer. B. Reduce speed and increase following distance. Adverse conditions reduce visibility and increase stopping distances. 